I have always wanted to write books. But for the longest time, I had a major problem that I was just unwilling to face. I didn't actually read books. Now I know that sounds completely ridiculous. That's like wanting to play the piano without ever having heard or seen a pianist play before. Thankfully though, my situation wasn't quite that bad. I did read a few fantasy books as a kid, but eventually those books were replaced by video games. I have read a few books here and there, but I never became a reader. And so when I sat down to write my first book, I was completely stumped. I had no idea what I was doing. And that's when I realized I needed to become a reader. To begin my quest, I went seeking the Oracle of the Coast. Great Oracle, why have you come to me? I need your guidance. I want to become a reader, but I don't know where to start. There are so many books. Books? You must read them all. What genre did you want to read? Fantasy. Epic fantasy. You must find the longest, most epic fantasy story ever written. And read that. It is called The Wheel of Time. Where can I find The Wheel of Time? Ye all book den! Ye all book den! Great Oracle, I, I don't understand. I, I don't speak the old tongue. What are you saying? Be gone! Out of my sight. Leave me in peace. Thank you for your wisdom. So, I began my search, looking high and low, far and wide, for the Wheel of Time. Just as my hope was dwindling, I found that which the Oracle had told me about. Ye all book down. I could sense it nearby, like the warmth of a campfire drawing me in. There in the dusty corner of Ye Old Book Den, I found it, 
like a chunk of gold in a long lost cavern, the eye of the world, book one in the wheel of time. I took it home, held it in my hands, a thing of wonder. I could already feel the magic of this journey I was about to embark on. There was no turning back. And that is how I became a reader. It is all thanks to the Wheel of Time. So I'm immensely grateful for Robert Jordan for creating this epic masterpiece and of course Brandon Sanderson for completing it. I regret to admit that there are parts of the story that aren't entirely true. For example, it took me longer than five seconds to read The Eye of the World. It took about two months if I recall correctly and I couldn't actually find the oracle when I was looking for him I, I just I didn't know where he was it was right around the time when I realized I wanted to become a reader that I stumbled upon a video by the youtuber Daniel Green about the wheel of time and it sounded epic I was like oh yes this is for me I mean, we're talking about a massive series here, like, when I stack this thing up, it's taller than me! <laughs> so I figured that if I enjoyed the first book, naturally I would want to know what happens at the end of the story, and thus read 14 books. And that's exactly what happened. In fact, I am on the final book, A Memory of Light, and whoo-hoo, yeah, it's epic. It's, I'm on chapter... 14 doses of fork root and man this is <laughs> yeah if you've read the series you know exactly what i'm going through right now bro what no even if you just i just can't while reading the wheel of time i came to realize that there are so many other book series that i want to read and it's all thanks to the community there is such a wholesome and inviting community around the Wheel of Time. And, you know, it's thanks to this community that the, the reading experience of Wheel of Time was the best. I mean, it was, it was awesome. There's just so much material, so much hype online at the moment because there's a TV show coming out, uh, you know, based on Wheel of Time. And yeah, it's, it's because of this community that I've got so many other book series that I'm looking forward to, like, you know, Mistborn, for example. I can't wait to read more Brandon Sanderson. Um, I figured that since the last three books are written by Brandon Sanderson, it would be a really good transition into Brandon Sanderson's Cosmere, um, you know, Stormlight Archive, Mistborn. Um, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to that. And, you know, there's Joe Abercrombie, Brent Weeks, the Lightbringer series, there's, there's the Poppy War. I mean, there's so many stories that I want to get into now. And so let's just say that I am definitely a reader now. You have a long journey ahead of you, young man. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video, eh? Like, 
I really appreciate it. This this video was a lot of fun to create, and um, I, I just hope you had as much fun watching it as I did creating it. And if you have read The Wheel of Time, I'd love to hear your experience of how you discovered it and you know your reading experience. And if you haven't read it, well, I hope I've inspired you to read it. And be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want, and I'll see you in the next video.